Big changes are coming for iRacing Dirt Road. Are you ready for them? Welcome to Boomer Studios. All right, in this video, we're going to talk about some of the changes that iRacing has announced for the 2021 Season 3 update for their Dirt Road series. They've put an announcement on their website, and there's some talk on the forums about it. And we're also going to take a look at some of the stats from this current season and just re most recently this week and just try to figure out what these changes are going to mean for most of us. All right, let's get started here. We'll take a look at the website first. You see uh, May 7th, there was a post made on there about a new dirt road ladder coming to iRacing for 2021 Season 3. It talks a little bit about what's coming. Uh, there's a new Volkswagen Beetle Lite, lower horsepower alternative to supercar cousin Volkswagen Beetle that we all currently have now. Uh, this will be a free vehicle for everyone. We scroll on down here to the ladder. We see that the rookie class will start in only that vehicle. So right currently you can run the supercars the uh, Volkswagen, the Ford Fiesta, and the Subaru. You can run those vehicles in this class, in the fixed class. After the Season 3 kicks off, it'll only be the Beetle Light, and it'll be a fixed series. You graduate from Rookie into the D-Class in the same vehicle. This is staying in Rallycross, and here you'll be able to tinker with the setup, uh, run open setups, make changes to it as you wish. Graduating from that into the C-Class for Rallycross, you'll have, that's where you'll get into the supercars. You have the Volkswagen Beetle, which is the free car that everyone has now. And also the Ford Fiesta and the Subaru WRX. And that will become a fixed series. It is currently an open series, and that is the high as you can go in Rallycross currently. The ch biggest change is coming besides the new vehicle, the Beetle Light, is you will get open class, open setups in a in the B class. So you graduate from C into the B, in the supercars, and here you will have the heats and feature race, like uh, we currently have now in the C class. So basically, they're moving the C class up to B and C-Class will become a fixed series. We continue on down here and look at the off-road progression. We start out with, just like we do now in the Rookie License, with the Pro 2 Light off-road series, uh, the Pro 2 Light truck and a fixed setup. I don't know if that will be run on the same Rallycross tracks that we have now or what what tracks that's being discussed in the forums a little bit. There's no official notice as of today, which is May 30th, 2021. You will progress into the D class, and this is where you'll have to buy your first vehicle. Uh, you, you buy the Pro 2 and Pro 4 together. The, the D class will be fixed setup that is currently the D class is currently an open setup for the Pro 4 trucks. You progress through that up to the C class, which will be the Pro 2 trucks in a fixed setup. This is currently Pro 2 in an open setup, and this is as high as you can go with the progression currently in the off road. But now they will have the B class license which I don't know again if this has been been discussed uh, no official word yet if it's going to be multi-class and for the pro mixing the pro 2 and the pro fours but here you will get an open setup so you, in order to to have a open setup vehicle you'll have to progress up to B license in the off-road and in the rallycross now we can take a look at uh, some of the stats for this season and in the current week on this page if you're not familiar with this this is iracingstats.com 
here you can see the different uh, stats, how many people, drivers per race, as well as total number of starts for the season and for the week. Same, same information for the week, uh, road series, oval series. We're particularly looking at the dirt road series today. So we'll take a look at this. The current week, there is 14, average of 14 drivers per race starting in the rookie rally cross. The next uh, popular start series is the rally cross, regular rally cross, followed closely by the Pro 2 light trucks. All three of these are run on Charlotte Rallycross track right now. The Pro 4 off-road and Pro 2 off-road racing series, they're both run on Bark River this week and they have eight and four drivers per race respectively. You can see the total number of starts for each series. The reason the Pro 2 lights is double everything else is because it runs every half hour as opposed to every hour for the rookie rallycross and the the other rallycross series is in the truck series if we look at the current season total total number of drivers for for the season the average uh, we have similar numbers you can see the Rookie Rallycross Series is the most popular. The Pro 2 light trucks is next. Again, double the numbers because it runs twice as many races. Followed by the Pro 4 and then the Rallycross Series. And then finally the Pro 2 and Pro 2 light off-road series. Again, with only four, averaging four drivers per race. They, they don't get a whole lot of official races with the uh, Pro 2 trucks. We'll take a look at that here in just a second. So here we are in the Rookie Rallycross series, uh, series results. You can see they start every hour and they have a pretty good track record of getting multiple splits every hour. So it's, as the other page showed it it's a, a pretty popular series uh, these are the numbers for yesterday uh, would have been Saturday uh, May 29th next we look at the rallycross series the open rallycross series again they have a pretty good track record of getting getting their races in one two yep yeah. Looks like, looks like pretty good, pretty good day. Yeah, every hour on the hour, when official. Uh, more single splits though. They don't only have a few where the race actually had enough people to split, and that was in the middle of the afternoon here in the U.S. Central Time. The next one we we'll look at is the Pro Two Light. And just like I said, every half hour on the quarter, they run and looks like they they have enough to, to split almost all day long until, yeah, until late in the, late in the night. Then they, then they don't split and then they start splitting again a little bit. But you can see it's a very popular series. Then we'll look at the Pro 4 off-road. This is the D-Class off-road race. Uh, we got quite a few splits here. And that, that's uh, in the early evening U.S. Central Time. And it looks like midnight was the last official race until that didn't go, that one did not go, 6 a.m. did not go until 7 a.m. the next morning. So from midnight to 7 a.m., there was a few people started, but they didn't have enough to go official. And then at 7 o'clock the next morning, they started going official again. 
Uh, they missed missed a couple. Didn't have anybody signed up. And finally, the Pro 2 and Pro 2 Lite. All the races that they started yesterday, they had one, two, three time, three times it went official. All three times it split. That was at 6.30 in the morning, 11.30 in the morning, U.S. Central Time, and not 5.30, at 6.30 in the evening. The rest of the day, they didn't have enough participation. So that might be a good reason to mix, to have the multi-class uh, with the Pro 2 and the Pro 4 trucks. I know there's a lot of people saying they don't like that idea, that uh, one will get run over by the other, vice versa. I don't know. I, I don't drive the Pro 2 truck enough to, to know it well. But I think if they want to be active with the Pro 2, and the best thing to do would be to have a multi-class race, particularly on the longer, longer, longer tracks, uh, Bark River and Crandon are both good longer tracks that uh, should should work out well for multi-class racing. And if you're dry, and if you have to have a B-class license, you're going to have to drive safe in order to maintain that license as well. So what's your opinion on this changes that are coming for the 2021 season three to off-road? If you enjoy this content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you don't, and thanks for watching.